Hi, it's me again with Corrode Roll Tips and Tricks. I want to attempt to show you how to draw this. I think it's pretty cool, and if I use some different colors, maybe on the new one, um, it'll be pretty cool, but it's pretty easy. I'm just going to draw an ellipse. It doesn't really matter what size. I always put stuff in the center, and I am going to go to effects and contour, and you really need to contour in this case uh, to get even steps. I'm only going to contour three times this time to the center with one inch because we only need two of these circles. And you, I could have done it more times and had thinner, but then I'm gonna, and the reason I draw in the center of the page and now I can hit P and put that in the center, Control D to make a duplicate and rotate that guy 90 degrees. And it rotates in the center because it's in the center. Now I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill in those two spots. And then I can grab those two, Control G to actually group them together and I can move this out of the way. I didn't grab it all, so I'm gonna grab it all this time. And then now, I'm actually gonna make it a lighter gray so you can see the outline. I'm gonna control D and while holding down the control button, mirror it. Then using this node right here, I'm gonna move it to that node. Control D to make a duplicate while holding down the control button and then using that node right there to have it snap to that one. So you've already got a pretty unique item there. I mean, some of them, uh, and you could actually break these apart and have some of them going to the, like this is two pieces. We could go to object group and ungroup and you could actually take this one and go up to object order back a page and now it's behind the other ones. So you could, that is pretty cool right there. You know, maybe if we took this one and ungrouped it and then grab that one and put it on front of page, you have a totally different look. I don't think it's as nice as this one, because we, we had it pretty good, so I'm just gonna back up here. Now, this one is on top and every one of them else are on the bottom. And I really kind of messed up by, so let me back up here to where they were all kind of grouped together, or at least individual pieces. So these two are grouped together. We need to put a little darkness as it's going behind there. So I'm gonna take the interactive field tool, I'm gonna start kind of in the middle and go downward. And then I'm gonna put black in that corner. Whoop, I must have missed it. Put black in that right there and you can see, then you can adjust that and actually make maybe make this a little bit lighter gray. So it looks like it's going from light to dark down that scale. Same thing here. We need to, this one is actually going dark on both ends. So that's a neat little trick get the interactive field tool, click on your item, and then go past your item, and then make them both black on the ends. And you don't have to use black, you could use lighter gray, but then take a lighter gray and put it in the center. And then that way it looks like it's um, darker on both ends. One more and we're done. I always take the pick tool and grab my item before I grab the interactive field tool and then go down and make this one dark. And now that I've said that, I missed my mark. I'm gonna, I wish I would've used different colors. Uh, like I said, I was going to, just to make it look different. And we could still, we could take, you know, yellows and put them in there. You could always, you know, go back to one. You know, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put a little yellow right in the middle and do the last, well, the last one we didn't do. Um, so maybe you wouldn't want it a bright yellow. Uh, let's use a smart fill tool on a yellow, maybe a duller yellow. Eh, doesn't look too good. But you get, and we could still interact that, you know, with some darkness. Or you could always, I'm gonna shift select both of those and then hold down the control button and I'm gonna add a little gray to that yellow and it looks pretty cool to make different colors. Now, I wish I would have gone with some 
you know, maybe totally different colors, like some blues and lighter blues. And I'm just going to show you real quick if we would have done that with this one. I've selected that one, go to Interactive Field Tool, and you can see it. If we put a light blue in the middle and a darker blue on each end, um, you get that whole different look. And if I would have done them all, all like that, it, it might have been pretty cool. Anyway, fun little project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.